brand new YouTube video. Um, so today we came to the session a little bit. Um, I just woke up this morning, I was kind of like reflecting on just like life. And I feel like it's 2023 now. Um, I started my power team journey like in 2016. And I just woke up just like angry. Not angry, but like, you guys know on my channel, like more so just like angry and pissed off for greatness. Um, I was just thinking about like 20 year old me um, going to a piloting meeting for my first ever time at the U of H uh, piloting club. And I remember watching the presentation they had and I told the coach at the time, I was like, hey, like, I think I fall into like the 83 kg weight class and this is what I want to do. Who's the number one lifter in the weight class? I would like to be the best. And he just kind of looked at me with like a little like confused look on his face. And um, I mean, I was very, like purposeful with what I was saying, because I wanted to do that. And I knew I was gonna put the work in to do that. And fast forward to 2023, uh, we're five national titles um, up, and we're two world titles up. And um, I just felt as though I wanted to come into today's session and just kind of like, just feel something, you know? I apologize to Joey, I'm not, <laughs> I'm sure he's somewhere watching, like in my last video, I fucking failed 800 pounds, and now I'm over here squatting 744 for two um, the week after, but. Uh, I just wanted to come in and just like really just like be thankful and this is a way of showing my thankfulness so um, I kind of like pieced something together in my last couple squat sessions. Um, I've been getting folded over a lot which is very odd for myself. If you look at my body, this isn't me trying to show off my body, but if you look at my body I have a very short torso. I have a short body in general but I have a very short tor torso. God damn bro this fucking fly is like, you've been seeing it right? It's been like, no it just came at me. Yeah. So, my short torso for me to get folded over that's for me a sign of bad technique or bad something's off um so i started noticing like okay like bro i think i'm putting the bar a, like just like an inch or two too high on my back so i'm a low bar squatter and that changes the dynamics of my lift a lot because i rarely get out of position on squat like for me to be folding over like that that means that the bar is too high on my back so for this session, I put the bar lower on my back, like, like actually feels it a lot lower. Um, and as I was squatting, I was, I was able to maintain perfect positioning and like I wasn't getting floated over whatsoever. So when I got to like 595, I was like, it literally feels like my legs are not working. Like I'm literally just hinging and I'm squatting and I'm coming back up. Um, before, 
on my squat sessions, I can start feeling it in my, in my quads. And I'm like, that's a little bit abnormal. And I've been doing that for months now. Um, so for me to kind of like get back into that normal position that I normally have, I'm literally squatting and I don't feel anything. Like I did that 744 for two and I legit don't feel shit on my body. Like nothing feels off. It was obviously hard as fuck, but like my positioning is so good that it doesn't even feel like my actual muscles are working. It just feels like I'm working from a strength of just like being in that perfect position and then pushing back up. Um, so basically I've just shortened the range of motion on my squat and I don't feel like I'm overworking at all, which is a great feeling. Um, lower back doesn't feel fried. I don't even have a lower back pump, which is insane. Usually when I squat, my lower back is like pumped, not in a painful way, but it's just super pumped and it's just kind of hard to move around a little bit. Now I feel nothing, but long intro. Um, I'm still gonna drop the weight down. Uh, I'm gonna send Joey a, a voice message, let him know what I just did. Um, <laughs> yeah, I already know he's gonna like, he doesn't chew me out, he just kind of gives me words of wisdom. <laughs> he'd, be like, he'd be like, I just wanna make sure we're, we're healthy for September. I swear, I promise you guys, I promise you Joey, like we're gonna fucking tune it down. I know we have a deload week next week, so. Okay, we're gonna drop it down to maybe like 484 and get this four by four out of the way. All right, so uh, we're here, we're transitioning into the 4x4, 484. Um, so I just wanted to say why the 744 for two was so monumental. Um, I've been cutting for the last like three weeks or so. So my weight's down. I'm like getting close to like 190. And uh, I knocked out 744 like for two reps at like my cutting weight for a prep. So it's like... These numbers are transferable. It's like the platform. That's like, that's why it's so crazy. And that's why I screamed the way I screamed. Um, just because I think the biggest thing that I learned over uh, my prep going into December, right? Was that like, I need to gain a little bit more weight to see a little bit more progress and then be very strategic with my cut coming down. So I maintain as much of that strength as possible. Um, and that's what we've been able to main do. Uh, to, that's what we've been able to do. And my excitement was just kind of like bubbling up. So I'm like, oh fuck! Like the numbers that I was hitting as a 90 is very possible as an 83 or 82 and a half, which I was getting excited about. That's why I screamed the way I screamed because I was like, oh fuck! Like this this nationals prep is gonna be nasty because like you know I'm squatting like 705 didn't feel like shit to me, and I'm down in weight. And then the 744 double was like, holy shit, just did that with my weight down. And that's on squat. And like once the deadlift comes around, it's gonna be even crazier. So it's just like the consistency of putting shit up. The consistency of putting shit up is uh is getting is getting good. And doing at 83 is insane too. You, you got squat today? Yes sir, I do. Right. Also, you get to see where I wear my belt. People always like, oh, you're not hitting depth, you're not hitting depth. I'm like, bro, you know how high my belt fucking sits? If my belt disappears within my thighs, that means I'm hitting depth. So watch. Four by four. Yo, like, shit. People don't realize that my belt is like damn near my rib cage. So like you can see my belly button, and then if I'm squatting, it disappears. We're good. Ride around the city, bless a cup of henny. Find a nigga like me to be told I don't know many. I say that I look just like a real nigga. New Orleans, no it's love. Every time it's just me rose in your cali. Niggas, God forgives and I don't, only hustles relate. The Lord is my light and my salvation, but I see none of you fuck me. What would you heard, We're done with the workout. Uh, so, like I said, the win for today was a 744 for two. And then um, after that, we dropped the weight down. So I think like what's, well, like I said, what's super exciting is just the fact that we're like dieting, we're coming down in weight and trying to maintain that. And then also hitting like 
huge PR. It's like for me to double 744, it's crazy because I squatted, I squat, I hit squat PRs before I hit deadlift PR, which is so weird. Like I'll hit 744 for two, but I, I think I've only, I think the most I've like done on deadlift is maybe like it's, I don't know, but it's so weird. Maybe it's because I squat first in the week and then deadlift kind of takes a hit towards the end. But um, yeah, we're, we're gonna keep the ball rolling. Um, like I said, I'm trying to exude this thankfulness of the opportunity to be able to push myself on a daily basis uh, to be the best lifter that I could possibly, <laughs> to be the best lifter I could possibly be. <laughs> so um, yeah, just super happy with today's training session. Um, PRs at this level are hard to come by, and especially when you're maintaining the same type of weight. Um, so yeah, super happy about that. Shout out to Tank. Javante Davis took care of business, you feel me? I can't believe y'all thought he was gonna lose. Duan had Ryan Garcia, I was like, bro, come on, man. be yeah, real. Man, my people, yeah, <laughs> by my people. He hit that ink, pop. But anyways, okay, thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. Like always, if you guys like today's video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Get better today, I'm out. Metro.